What's up, everybody? Um, this isn't planned. I, I don't. I don't know what. I, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna say, but I, I know who I want to talk to. I want to talk to the person who's been hurt by someone. And if you haven't, then, you know, maybe just hold on to this in case you do one day. Um, we've, most of us probably have been really hurt by somebody. Um, been broken, right? Just shaken to your core and it, it changes you. And it, it just changes who you are, how you think, how you act. Um, it makes you hard and, you know, it puts up a wall and you, you keep a anybody from getting in. You know, I've kind of been there a little bit before. Um, maybe more than a little bit, to be honest. Uh, somebody else could probably tell you better about me than I could tell you about me. You know, that tends to be the case sometimes. I'm here to encourage you to maybe let that wall down. Maybe maybe let God break that wall down. Just take that wall away. Yeah, our hope isn't in people. I think a lot of the times we put our hope in people. And, or I do, maybe. right? I think maybe I have in the past put my just everything in people. I'll put it on me. I won't put it on you. I don't want you to feel like I'm telling you how you've been. Or how you are. I think, I think I've kind of put my hope in people. And maybe what they can do for me or what they can bring to me or for me or just caught up in so much of who they are and they're my life. And then when it ends, what do you have, right? You, ain't got, you have nothing and you feel completely, completely maybe humiliated. I'm trying to think of the right word wronged just so wronged like they just they just stripped everything from you my encouragement today for you or in hope for you is is truly i i don't want you to think i'm just giving you just some piece of worthless advice because you may have heard this uh, in a way that wasn't sincere. You may have heard this and just not taken it in a sincere way, but I really mean this. And it's it's so true. And you have to please hear me on it. It's not just a word. Um, it's, it's life, right? Put your hope in Jesus Christ. And I don't want you to scoff or, or just laugh at that or like, yeah, whatever at that. No, I'm serious. If you put your hope in anything else, you're going to come up short. You will always come up short if your hope is in anything but Christ. You will always feel let down in some way or another at some point or another. Maybe not always, but especially for the Christian, you are going to feel let down some way. I'm, I'm certain of it. No person can, should, or is supposed to fill the void in your life that only God can fill. I, I've, I, went, through, I went through a horrible breakup one time before I was even... Looking back, you know, before I was even sure that I was saved, and my my everything was in that person, and then that ended, and just I had huge walls, didn't let anybody in, you know, didn't date anybody, 
just just shaking to my core. I didn't have anything to stand on. I didn't have anything to hope for because my only everything was gone then. She wasn't supposed to be that. Now, I can't blame her, right? She wasn't supposed to be that. She shouldn't have been that to me. And for guys or girls out there, just for any situation, it doesn't have to be relationships like that. It can be any situation. Please do not put your hope in people. And I don't say it to just be like, man, yeah, hate people. Man, I don't have anything to do with people. No, you can still love and care for and just pour your heart into people, but don't put your hope in them. It's not like it's just some bad thing. It's just the way, this is the way it's supposed to be. Don't put your hope in people. Put your hope in Christ. It's not a lack of love to not put your hope in them. No, your, your hope is in Christ. Your faith is in Christ. Well, should be. Um, you're just unwavering first and foremost devotion should be to Christ. That's how it's supposed to be. And let all the other things fall as they may. That's, that's got to help um, broken relationships <laughs> because you still have God, right? God's better than people. Again, I'm not shaming people. I'm just lining things up in the way they're supposed to be lined up. It's God first. God first. Try to keep God first. If God's not first in your life, please put God first, whether you're in a relationship or not. And you don't have to hate them anymore. Hating them, being mad at them. I'll say hating them. Hating them is not going to help you. It's not. And I'm not going to tell you to forgive and forget because that's the best for you. Forgiveness is a different message for another time. But hating them is not going to help you. Putting all that you have, your love, your faith, your devotion, first and foremost, in Jesus Christ, that's going to help you. You can bet on it. I promise you. If you don't believe me, try it. You can bet on that. It's, 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 I'm 100% confident. The Bible says so, right? We're to, we're to love God first. Seek God with everything you have. Heart, soul, mind, strength. He's a provider. He's our shepherd. He's the one that takes care of us. He gives salvation. He gives eternal life. He is our helper when we are in the valley of the shadow of death. He protects us. He is our hope. None of that says that people are. None of that. None of it. None of it does. We... I didn't give too much scripture on this. Maybe I should have. Matthew 6, Matthew 6 talks about, you know, worrying about what you're going to eat, drink, or wear. It says, don't do any of that, right? Don't do any of it. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Everything that you need is there for you when you seek God first. His will. Philippians 4, 6-7, through 7, Don't be anxious about anything, but in everything with prayer and supplication, make your request be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. It may not be exactly right, but it's close. I want to put this out there. Please, if you have any questions on what other passages of God is our hope, God should be our, our one, our only like true hope, ask me. I'll, I'll search for some of those for you. I'll do that. If you, if you ask me, I'll do that. But I want to put this one out, this video, even though it doesn't have all the scripture in it. Um, because I, I, don't want it, I don't want this one to be rehearsed and... And just perfectly planned out. I want you to. I want you to hear where I'm coming from. But I'll look up some stuff if you want me to look it up about God being our hope, and our joy, and you know, our salvation, and our shepherd. The Bible. The Bible points to Christ being our Lord and our hope, not not people. So seek Him, love Him, honor Him. Let let things fall into place. See you.